Hello Taurus, welcome back to Fantasy Lighthouse and welcome back to Abuela Soila's room. In this reading, we're going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to know to book a private session. All of that info can be found in the description box of this video. Please check out Femacy's Artist Spotlight. Right now I have Springfield, Massachusetts Artist Boston. You wanna hit the description box below. You're gonna find a link there that's gonna take you to Boston's music page. Please share, comment, and subscribe. Boston's album is scheduled to be released on November 21st. All right, let's take a look at what Taurus needs to know. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Taurus. You might want to take a look at the Sagittarius reading that I just did. Even if you're not dealing with a Sag, I feel like most of you are going to identify with that message. Okay? So please speak to me in reference to what Taurus needs to know. Talk to me about what Taurus needs to know, Spirit. All right. So we have the Knight of Swords energy. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Something feels very urgent here, all right? Talk to me about the Knight of Swords energy. We have the Hierophant coming out here. So it seems like there's fast communication coming into you, Taurus, all right? What is this communication about for Taurus? Please talk to me about this communication. All right, so this person that's coming towards you is in the Nine of Swords energy. All right, so it could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius. Um, even if it's not an air sign, there's someone who's experiencing something very troubling. Tell me more. Tell me more. All right, this is past connection energy. It doesn't have to be a past lover that we're talking about. This could be a friend of yours that's coming towards you to talk to you about some stressful situation. All right. Could be a Cancer, a Scorpio, or a Pisces. Tell me more about, all right, we have the Three of Cups. It seems like you're going to be meeting up with this friend or whomever this individual is. I know that a lot of you guys watch this in reference to love. But not all the time are we speaking of a love connection. I just feel like there's someone that's been around for a while and they're going to be talking to you about the Nine of Swords, how this person can't sleep. And they're looking to either meet up at a public place or they're coming over. You're going over to their house. Tell me more. When it comes to general messages, we're going to talk about love in a moment, but I just want to talk about general messages first, all right? Spirit, please talk to me about what else Taurus needs to know. So we have someone here, Four of Cups Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This person's depressed here, all right? Four of Cups. Why is this person depressed why is this person depressed? Please talk to me about this person's depression. Because of the change. Something changed drastically in their life. It's like they thought they were going to have some type of good fortune or good luck, but that's not happening at this time. Something is not going as planned here. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, somebody said, Five of Cups energy. Tell me more. Tell me more. What is Taurus supposed to do? What is Taurus supposed to do in this situation? You're going to communicate, okay, with the Page of Wands energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel like this is you and this person talking. This is the messenger. So, And this is also the message that comes in. Okay, tell me more. Yeah. Whatever communication takes place, I feel like the end result is you giving this person some clarity, some clarification so that they can feel better about themselves with the sun here. You are the sun. For whomever this is, you are that light. 
You inspire people. You are the Hierophant. Please look it up after this. I love our card. The Hierophant is just a beautiful, beautiful card. All right. This is the priest, the leader, the counselor, the therapist, the one that people came to see. And I know my cards look rocked, but I have brand new ones and I don't want to use them. Okay, so um, I'm sorry if you don't like how my cards look, but I like my old cards better. All right, I've helped, you know, probably thousands of people with these cards. So they mean the world to me. Now, let's take a look at love, because that's why most of you are here. Spirit, please talk to me about love when it comes to the sign of Taurus. Talk to me about love. What's coming in for love? Talk to me about love when it comes to Taurus. Travel. All right, so Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. There's some type of travel. Who is this Six of Swords energy, please, when it comes to love for Taurus? Who is this? Fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Somebody wants to come see the Queen of Wands. That's what I'm getting here. I feel like you're pulling up as the fire sign right here, Taurus. Okay, because um, you've kind of turned your face in another direction, right? It's like you at one point might have been open to love, but lately your mind has been on other things and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, the queen of wands is not facing the direction of this person. So you might not see this coming, okay? It could be a Libra, a Gemini, or an Aquarius coming towards you. Tell me more. And then we get the Six of Cups again. All right, for those of you who don't know, the Six of Cups means a past person, past connection. Okay, so this could be someone just trying to come out of something that was finished and just see if they could get that old thing back. I don't know if you're interested <laughs> All right, you're probably not, but you still have somebody from your past that thinks about you and they want to come towards you. You're showing up very intimidating for this person. The Queen of Wands, as you can see, you know, she's someone who is very bold, very fierce. All right, her mind is on her money, it's on her business, it's on her goals, it's on delegating. So, a lot of you guys have been. Telling people what to do is what I'm getting here. But, you know, you're good at being in the position of power, Taurus. So you've been in that position. You haven't really uh, been so concentrated on someone from the past. You haven't, you know, maybe someone else from the past, but not, you know, as far as the lovers or something like that, you know, um, you could be thinking about someone recently that you dealt with, but not a past connection, which is, you know, why I feel you're not going to see this coming. All right. Just remember this reading. Now, tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about what Taurus needs to know here. Capricorn energy. Why do we have Capricorn energy? So you could be dealing with someone who has a Capricorn moon in their chart. They don't have to be a Capricorn sun, right? Could be a Capricorn rising, Capricorn Venus. That's why it's always important to know your birth chart. Okay, that's another reading that I do. If you're interested in that, you want to let me know, okay? Tell me more about this Capricorn energy. All right, Virgo. All right, so 
Somebody feels like they have to keep something quiet. Why is that? Why does this person feel like they have to keep something quiet? Because of Pisces energy. All right. So this person is obsessively thinking about you, Taurus. Okay. Obsession. Capricorn energy also indicates um, someone who just keeps thinking about you over and over and over again. You know, may not be acting on it right now, but can't stop thinking about you. All right. Now, talk to me about what the future holds, Spirit. What does the future hold for Taurus and this person? What does the future hold, please? Talk to me about what the future holds for Taurus and this person. What does the future hold for Taurus? Ooh. Whew. The lovers. You better prepare for this, okay? You don't have to be dealing with somebody right now, but in the future, you got somebody that you're dealing with, Taurus. This is the lovers, all right? That's Gemini energy. It doesn't have to be a Gemini. You still got the lovers, though. All right, talk to me about the future for Taurus and this person. Talk to me about talk to me about the future for Taurus and this person. All right, something's very painful. Why do we have pain there? Talk to me about the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus. All right. So you definitely have you coming together with somebody here in the future, but somebody gets their heart broken. I don't feel like it's you, okay? Or there's some type of pain that this person, this other person is going through. Clarify the Three of Swords in the future here. Clarify the Three of Swords in the future for Taurus, please. The Sun. All right, so that's Leo energy. Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more about... This is going to be very surprising. Whatever this is, huh, very surprising. We have victory coming towards Taurus with the Six of Wands headed towards the Queen of Pentacles. Very nice. So again, like I was saying yesterday, seems like you're going to get what you want, but... There's someone else over here that is not going to be doing so well because of it. And that's their problem. If they don't like it, they don't have to like it. You're not here for other people's